support. You are ruddy, bloody, brilliant. And I hope that you enjoy this video. Uh, 
massive um, operator. He had a cool guy who had, I think, like an SMG with these like night vision specs, like, and then he had like more heavy LMG. And you'd fight, you know, zombies in Raccoon City, but you'd also sort of fight survivors. And I'm pretty sure you had like hero characters in like Leon S. Kennedy and all that stuff. Um, it says that all roads lead to hell. It is if you stick the disc in your console. Um, again, that's what she said. Childish. I'm, I'm 26. Um, but the game was um, pretty crap, to be fair. And I actually really struggled to get a physical copy uh, because my local game shops weren't selling it. I had to go to like a, a far out Argos where I was able to pick up. And that wasn't because of um, sort of yeah, you know, excessive demand. It was actually because no one was stocking it. Now that's me being, probably being a bit harsh, it was quite a fun game, the more you play it was pretty good fun, it was just pretty, pretty broken and just not great, um, it was produced, it was published by Capcom but it was made by uh, Slant6 Games, who I just know that they have not very useful. And then, continuing the theme of um, games I didn't particularly enjoy. Historical, I think I played. 
and as a sort of franchise, really good fun. Um, obviously, this is what spawned the, the Rabbids, Rayman, uh, Raving Rabbids. Um, but this game really caught my eye. I'm not a big side-scrolling platformer, but the, the art style really, really caught my eye. So I think it was the first game that used the, the UB art framework, which was Ubisoft's sort of game engine, I suppose, which has this really quite sort of cartoon, colourful, really sort of pop-tastic uh, sort of colour scheme. Let me show you a bit of the, the back there, and basically Rayman and his friends get disturbed, and uh, sort of his big sort of evil power awakens, and you have to start, you know, fighting all the hoodlums and evil characters. Uh, but what was really fun is each level had a load of collectibles in it, and you could unlock secret areas, and I think the one of the coolest bits was the music levels, and they did it, they expanded on it in Rayman Legends, but Rayman Origins, where it sort of, you'd bounce to the beat, almost. Um, and I remember playing this with my neighbours, like, um, there was me, my little sister, and uh, two of my neighbours, we'd, you know, get four Xbox 360 controllers, and we'd just, um, play together, and it was such a, such a good laugh, and the level designs were really epic, you could go, uh, you in the air, you'd go, you sort of swim underwater, um, yeah, you could fly on these sort of, uh, sort of mosquito sort of things, so, like, the, the level design of variety really was, um, epic as you were trying to kick the dark dunes, um, why to, to bring peace back to the glade of dreams. school. 
just like it was the start of the game where you just created your character and you're with the emperor in the dungeon and you're trying to get out and you've got all these giant rats and skeleton monsters in I just remember the sort of epic bit where you sort of leave the dungeon and enter the world of Tamriel going to all these towns and going to monasteries and I didn't really the game was a bit too big for, for me to comprehend I'd just go around stealing and hacking and slashing and I remember be becoming a, a gladiator and taking part in the gladiatorial fights friend.